Central Terminal. It looks so pretty. We made it here without getting lost. Today our goal is to go gift shopping. So right now Shivani told me to get Levain cookies, which I've never heard of, but apparently New York is very famous for those cookies. And it's really cold today. This entire time during the trip, it was actually hotter in California than at New York. But today it dropped to like low high 30s and I'm like actually freezing and I'm like, okay, this is actually like New York weather. We came to the Flatiron building and we realized that it was under construction, but then we bumped into something even better. The Harry Potter store! We've been meaning to come here for a while and we accidentally came here. What a coincidence. This place is huge actually, I'm surprised. Oh my gosh, I'm a proud Hufflepuff. My favorite character. We got the goods. And next stop, we're getting Levain cookies. My Levain cookie taste test. Mm. It would be better if it were hotter. This is amazing, actually. You can see like the melted chocolate chips and everything. I got Shivani two cookies and one brioche. So hopefully, you better like it, Shivani, because I spent my money on you. to Governor Island and we have one of the prettiest views of all the buildings as a group. I think you get a better view here from like the Statue of Liberty. My hair is just like yeah. out of control right now. I mean it's raining so. It is raining and my hair does not like the rain apparently. But the Statue of Liberty is right there. And here is the Statue of Liberty even though it looks super tiny but it's all the way there. Right there. Oh, but it's really cold and my hair is not liking it. But this is the view. Oh, oh my gosh, my hair. It is. New York Stock Exchange. We like randomly bumped into the New York Stock Exchange. We're like, what is this building? And then we just finally came here. That's hilarious. So today is the last day of our trip. I really enjoyed our trip because of how spontaneous we were. Like, we didn't plan our trip at all. We would just wake up whenever we wanted to, go wherever we wanted to at New York, and bump into places we didn't think we were gonna bump into. But I think today by far is the most spontaneous thing we have ever decided to do. We're basically driving to the middle of nowhere until we find snow. So we basically are driving through Connecticut, Massachusetts, and heading towards Vermont to see snow. <laughs> I feel like this is only something a Californian person would do, not anyone yes. in the East Coast. <laughs> we're crazy, we're crazy. I'm but I'm so excited. I'm so <laughs> we're very crazy, but I'm loving it. This is the first time I got to drive for two hours straight without my parents. This is Simeon to driving. I Dri drove from New York to Connecticut, Mom. Everyone in my family thinks that I'm like the worst driver. We're not the worst driver. They get scared whenever I drive, they panic. They're holding on to the handle like, oh, save my life. But then I guess my friend thinks that I'm one of the safest drivers ever. So I think I'm a pretty safe driver. Yes. No one can disagree. You are a pretty safe driver. Considering you're driving 90 miles per hour right now, you are safe.
bought the worst shoes ever and I forgot gloves. But we're in a deserted place and it's filled with snow. I'm really excited. <laughs> we're here. This is my friend going crazy <laughs> with the snow. Be in California. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun watching you! I'm freezing to death. No, I really feel like my spit is gonna freeze. <laughs> but I'm having the time of my life. This is my friend. <laughs> Walking in snow. Bare ankle. Bare ankle. Bare ankle and she's just walking. Ready, let's go! Just stay now. <laughs> you will be. You will be fine. <laughs> oh, but I love the snow. Even though I can't bear the snow, I need gloves badly. I really regret. My mom's like, take these gloves, and I was like, I don't need them. It's okay. You're leaving in the dream I'm world, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> few moments later we got gloves and we're gonna build a snowman sophia doesn't think i can document this process but i'll prove it to her wrong you you need your hand oh i'm not gonna hold it i'm gonna put it somewhere but i don't have any place to put my phone i know exactly we're actually having a harder time than i thought we kind of built this small contraption it looks like this not too big, not too small. We did pretty good progress, but we're literally using a cup holder. A, a random cup holder. <laughs> and we're using this in that bag right here. <laughs> it's doing the work. It's not the best, but it's doing us the work. And I'm really scared because it doesn't show on camera, but it's getting really dark outside. It looks really pretty, but it's getting really dark. And I'm scared that we're going to be stuck in the middle of nowhere. And we don't have signal. We don't have signal. We got lost already. We got lost multiple times actually. But I'll just, we'll just continue. We're not leaving without a snowman. <laughs> it's it's a, <laughs> it is so cute. I name it. We thought it looked like Wally, but it after we put the face, it doesn't look like Wally. It just looks like a jelly bean. Should we just call it Jelly? Sure. Jelly the snowman. And it has an amazing view to go with it. We literally put chocolate chip cookies on our on our snowman. That's how desperate we were.